sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. This is Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. A loss of a yard. No, no, no. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. These two teams all tied after one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this kick will be touched down as they spot it inside the 45-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Carry on, Johnson. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions have taken the lead. Prater for the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. The Packers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. And able to find Graham, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. On first down, Jones. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. 20, 10, 5, and he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big run there by Jones. Give him 58 yards on the ground. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. That is incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. On second and goal, Rodgers looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Des Bryant, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And that is going to be incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand.
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they fell behind early, but since then, two touchdowns and a 14-7 lead. Yeah, they found the end zone on their first two drives, and even more so after the defense gave up the first lead. But these last two drives, obviously they inspired their D because they shut them down the last time out. They hope to continue that string. Brings up second and seven at the seven-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Middle, middle, middle. Hey, Charlie. Back to throw. Stafford. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked into the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. They needed a yard. They got it. First down. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 16, Stafford rolling to his left. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now Johnson. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Throwing to Stanford. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. On second down, Johnson. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. Now I think we're...
We're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Expect your roaming free safety to come up with, but it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So the penalty certainly hey, hey. helps them out as they come up on second and five. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Check 13, 53, ready. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up, 59. Check, watch it. Alert. Check. Hey, easy, easy. Go, Mike. From the gun, a run for Johnson. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along and control the clock and control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. Hey, Delta, you're on 51. Come on, baby. I'm coming, baby. Woo! Third and two, Stafford. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 30. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. And he has his receiver. That's Jones. Lions touchdown. Marvin Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will not be returned.
Audible, it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'm going to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. A final shot before half for Rodgers. It's caught by Bryant. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That false start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal. They go to Johnson again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal at the Packers' 12-yard line. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A big play to start the drive got him in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. A shotgun stab for Stanford. This is caught, and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Carry on Johnson with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Extra point good by Prater. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Matt 
And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And their halftime hole now even deeper. They need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On the delay, Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. The tackle there by Quandre Diggs. To throw on second and six, Rodgers. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked up by Greedy Williams, the rookie from LSU. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Hey, go here. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And an alley to run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a lion first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That one. 